Hey, I'm Haloha and today I'm going to teach you how to do the two-handed system with the constraints that you can now use in Unity 2018 for VRChat SDK2, yada 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 yada. So I can't stress this enough, stress this enough that you have to do this exactly how I do it because if you do it any other way, you're, you will potentially see some weird fucky fucky wucky shit and uh i you know i can't i can't stress that enough um so anyway the first thing you want to do is grab your gun bring it in and straight away the first thing i you would want to do is um make sure that your armature in the gun is zeroed out on all rotations and also make sure that your gun is facing the same direction that your avatar's direction is facing. So the reason why you need to do that is because uh, um, Unity's translation between uh, Blender's translation of the Y and X and Z axis and all that shit is different. So for example, uh, here, the Y axis is going this way but in blender but in unity the y-axis is up in unity so we have to make sure that all rotations are the right way around so so first things first this is probably the most painful thing to do is you have to rotate it in a way that the gun is facing the same way the avatar is facing and you also need to make sure that all, all the rotations in the armature in Unity are all zeroed out. Because if you do not do this, as soon as you apply the uh, aim at constraint on the gun, it's going to flip to the, uh, the, imported, the imported state of the uh, gun. So if you've got them back to front or whatever, it's going to just flip out and just do some real shit weird shit so how you would do this is you just open this out and we know that the x-axis on here is a minus value this needs to be zero so we just go 90 okay yeah we'll go let's go 90 apply and you may have to do this enough times till it like actually like fixes itself export so, still 90. Oh, I'll just do it this way. So, I'll go 90 again. Apply transform. Or rotation. And to do that, how you, like, apply the rotation is going control A, and then you select uh, um, apply rotation. And then we'll go again. So, it's still going to be, like, wrong. We'll go one more again. Uh, control A. Apply rotation. Export FXB, export FXB. It's going to be this way. So now all you have to do is just go 90. Leave it like that. Don't apply the rotation. Export it. And uh, I like to have the FBX Unix go on. I like to leave all this off. So add leaf bones off. Export. So then when you go in here, all these are zeroed out. Your gun is also facing the correct way and you're ready to get started so now the first thing you need or well, the next thing you need to do is um oh, don't want to do that so don't do that um is create two empty game objects and we'll call this root one or your handle or your gun's root technically and this is the handle that your gun will aim at you will soon see why, so we'll call that root 2. You don't have to name them these, but I find just naming them things like this is easier to, like, when you have to debug. So then, um, I like to copy the transforms of the gun onto all these. So these are all the same. Yes. So, yeah. And then you just go there and there. So you make it so root 1 is a... Or, uh, AR2 or your gun is a, is a child of root 2 in which that root 2 is a child of root 1 and uh, also uh, actually it might be pay to do uh, this this may be a good idea 
is actually move this on the handle. So we can go into this mode, yep. And that's why I have this route one and two as well. Is so you, uh, sometimes if you're lazy like me, and you cannot be bothered setting up the origin point, this is a good way to get around that. But it doesn't always work. So sometimes you may have to fix the origin point in the in Blender. So there's some videos on how to do that already, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm just showing you how to get a cert two hands. So now you see this is now the root of the thing. But anywho, now we can scale this down so let's say I don't know, let's scale it down that's good enough for me uh, I'm not getting too crazy because this is just a tutorial on showing you how to do this actually that gun's a bit too small so let's make it a little bit bigger anyway, so now the next step is is to then drag it in here, so drag your root, your gun and roots and all that into here and now this is the part where you should make your game objects, create or your, or well not your game objects, your targets so say you want to create one target for your hand one for your the target for, one for your hand that the gun will be when you're holding it normally another target for your two-handed thing so that will be on your left hand and then if you want it to be on your hip or your back or your head or your dick or whatever you make a third one called hip or chest target so we'll do th for this example I will do three targets because we want to be able to go from back to hand and then hand back to back so we'll call this hand target Uh, chest target gates and then this one will be called my two-handed target two-handed targets now next step is and I find that the, from my testing that you have to kind of do it this way because uh, the system that that we're using is very finicky and it's it's and you need to do it in a specific way so I do everything that's hand related first so so your parenting of your hand and the looking you know the turn parts so that's first so now you know you now move your gun into position if it was in your hand and when you pulled it out so like so Break, drag it into there this gun's a bit big but you know whatever it's fine uh, it's only a tutorial so I don't need to get too fussy on this so yeah that's good now the next step is to parent well not parent you need to copy your transform onto your hand target that gun's massive actually but whatever it's it's a big AR then you could probably then reset this value rotation and you could probably do the 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 chest target or you know, the default state that your gun is going to be if you haven't pulled the gun out. So let's do that now. So let's say I want to have it like this, and then we just rotate. That is a massive gun. You know that, but, you know, whatever. Drag that out, put it there. That looks ridiculous, but whatever. So this is the default state. So now you then copy this target, or the gun, put it on the chest target paste values then we want it so we want to have the hand target back on this gun like so paste convert values <coughs> excuse me now the that is done you can now add your parent constraints so you can just go constraint parent constraint now you want to go to constraint settings, don't touch any of this yet you want to lock this add a source throw your hand target onto there make sure that's correct when you activate it and this is the beauty thing, the beautiful thing about this tool or this constraint thing, you don't have to press play to test this you can test it while it's in not play mode, so now this gun is now, tar is now parented to this target so now the next step is to then 
Go to Route 2. You can do this on the gun, but I'd prefer to do it on the Route 2. Add component. Add an aim constraint. And we're doing everything that's hand related first. And because if you don't do it this way, I find that it breaks sometimes. Now, don't lock just yet. Uh, untick Z, then lock. Reason why you do this is if you lock it straight away with these on, the gun's going to flip. And when you do your two handed, it's wrong. And it's just, I can actually show you what happens. So, this. And then when you activate it, when you put a thing, so say we throw this on here, it's wrong. So this is why you don't do that. So we have to undo all this. So this is why you have to make sure this is all in the correct order, because and you do it explicit the way it, that is shown. So untick this, do that, and before you do this, you should make it so this is here drag that straight onto the handle since i've got it so far i'm just going to put it here but it doesn't really matter because my gun's massive and it's going to aim at that direction general direction regardless so that's done now you go back to route one make sure this is all like this Hit add a source drag your two-handed target activate and you'll see it snap. It's already wanting to look to the thing. So now, this is all good to go. That's it, I guess. So then, you drag it to your ham, where it's going to sit roughly. So I'm not going to get too specific because, um, you know, I kind of made a bit of a fuck up. But, you know, it's the same principle. Next, now that you've done that, uh, well, actually, before I, I say that, you then you can turn this down and you want to confirm this just to make sure this all works or oh, even before then actually the next step is to then so make sure that this 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 is turned all the way down go to back to the root one add a new t source drag chest target onto here set that to zero so this is your default state so when you're when you're doing your gesture overrides to go from your back or your hip or whatever to your right hand you change these values right and it switches between but for now we'll leave it on hand and you can see it works still like this still works and then you can like move this around so then you're pretty much done at this point in terms of setting this up so you could probably set this back to zero and that's still aiming there but that's okay you can just turn this off you can turn that back off and now the next step is to then drag all your targets where they belong. So your hand target goes on your wrist. Your two-handed target goes on your left wrist because that's where it's going to go. Your chest target, if you wanted to put a chest target, goes on your back. If that's where it was supposed to go. You can put it anywhere you want. Well, not really. If that's where it's supposed to go, that's where it's supposed to go. So if you didn't want to have a chest target, you just wanted it to just be in your hand... You just have it so this is not a thing, and you just have that target only, or that source only, and you wouldn't have to make a chest target. But in our case, I'm showing it so you can, if you wanted to go from from back to, to hand. Now, the final thing you want to do, and I'll show you how to do the gesture overrides, which I'm going to just quickly redo that. So you can see how I've done it, because, uh, you know. So the next step is, to you don't have to duplicate it. You can do it straight on the avatar, uh, as long as you delete the controller. But I just do it this way, just so I don't... I minimize the risk of breaking my avatar and not having to do it again. And I fucked this up. Now, the first thing is, let's go to the AR. The, the activate the gun from your back to your chest or from your chest to your hand so you go there there you go to the root of the gun you switch this to zero and set that to one and it's in your hand so then we'll make this one zero zero one and you just confirm that that's not doing anything funky and if you have a shoot animation you want to do the same because 
yeah, or else he'll just put it away. But in my case, we don't have a shoot animation on this gun for this purpose. So now, two-handed, it's best, I think it's best to have this on. Oh, whoops. To have this on as well. And you could probably just do this. And then you go to root two, set the weight to one, and you could just copy this, paste this there. And you're done. It's it's done. And it, that's ready to go into VR chat. Drag all these into your controller as you would normally do. And that's that, I guess. Uh, and we could probably we could probably conf confirm that. Ah, uh, no. You can test that in VR ch in VR chat. So anyway, um, this has been a a um, a video on how to do two-handed stuff with the new constraint systems. Hopefully you got the message on how to put things in the right order and all that and um, making sure and I can't stress this enough that making sure that your gun your gun that you want to use is the correct way around like if it's not facing the same way and if the the rotations are not right on the armature of the gun it will break I am stressing that to you but anyway that's that's the end of this video um, if you've got any questions you can message me